Hey everyone, Tom the Dilettante here, and I'd like to share with you that I got a new camera. So I'm adding to my dilettante repertoire here, uh, videography and photography with a little bit more higher end gear. Now up to this point, honestly, I've been using an older A6600 Sony for my talking heads, but most of my videos have been done using GoPros and iPhones. I've been using setups like this one here simply because it's been super convenient and really portable. The new camera I got is a Sony a7 IV, and I'm going to switch over to my old school way of filming things to, to show you this thing. So the a7 IV is a full frame digital camera, and I plan on using it to get back into photography, something I really enjoyed doing like 20 years ago, uh, but haven't really done it as much since, and for videography. So it's an a7 IV with a Sony 16-35G to lens with a power zoom, uh, I've got a variable ND filter on the top, and my trusty old Rode VideoMic Plus. Today I had planned on changing the oil in my Subaru Crosstrek anyway, so I figured I'll use this camera to try to document that. So without further ado, let's get our oil change on. So it's full. And then you always want to make sure that your oil cap comes off before you drain the oil so that you can actually put it back in. And check the tightness of your filter. That one's going to come off without any problems. And then we can get down uh, underneath. For those of you that have asked me whether or not this skid plate from Rallytech needs to come down in order to drain the oil, the answer is no. You can see here there's an opening in the skid plate that gives you direct access to the drain plug, which is thoughtful and convenient, I won't lie. The drain plug is a simple 14 mil that we're going to go ahead and pull right now. make a mess. I always highly recommend replacing the crush washer when you're uh, changing your oil. So I've got a fresh crush washer here. Put that on and seal it back up. Wipe the area around the drain plug off good so we can check for leaks after we fill and start. Time to go back up top. Always make sure that the gasket's on the old filter and not stuck to the plate. If you accidentally put two gaskets and sandwich them, you're going to have a hell of a leak. Lube the new gasket. Hand tight. Do our final check on level-ish ground so that we get a better indication of what the oil level is really at. Perfect. Don't know if you can see that. Pretty much on the money. And with it running, go underneath, check to make sure that there's no leaks by the drain plug. If not, you're good to go. Come back up, check your hand on the oil filter is tight, check that the cap is tight, and do your level check one more time, and that's all she wrote. So in the editing room here, putting together this little piece on this oil change video, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the video quality of this camera here. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about film equipment, photography, or whatever, it's another passion of mine, and I'd be happy to share with you. Got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.